Hey guys, ABI here, and welcome to the first episode of Design Shop. Here I get to talk about character design, and since I'm in a Street Fighter mood from watching this year's EVO tournament, I've got a specific character on the mind. A series latecomer but welcome favorite, the sadistic Jury Han. Despite this, I'm not exactly too thrilled with her redesign in Street Fighter V, so today I'm going to talk about Jury, her design evolution, and how it reflects her character. Shout out to Digi Valentine's Who Dat series for inspiring me to do this. Thanks, dude. Jury is important to me for several reasons. She marks three firsts for the Street Fighter series. She's the first South Korean Street Fighter, she's the first Taekwondo practitioner, and she's also the series' first deliberately evil female villain. Granted, there have been female antagonists in past Street Fighter games with the Alpha series Shadow Dolls, but all of them are basically mind-controlled minions. By contrast, Jury is an antagonist of her own volition. She's been known to even turn on other villains just for her own gain. She's dangerous, unstable, and unpredictable. So even if it seems she's on your side, there's no telling who she'll stab in the back to obtain her goal. So let's talk about how this is communicated through her design and what changed between her debut costume and her new look in Street Fighter V. Looking at her classic costume, there are three signature shapes to Jury's overall silhouette. Her odd hairstyle, her exposed top, and her baggy pants. Her color scheme hits a nice balance of black, white, and purple, a color often used to represent mystery and enigma. Because her pants are the only part of her costume that are colored white, it creates a deliberate design asymmetry here that draws the viewer's eyes to the most important part, Jury's legs. And not in a dim thighs kind of way, because of gameplay importance. Jury is a Taekwondo fighter, and fights using primarily kicks. The baggy pants make Jury's legs the largest recognizable shape, and immediately conveys where Jury's strikes are coming from, in the same way that Balrog's exposed tree trunk arms convey his emphasis on punching. Jury's Taekwondo uniform pants are modified to look more like chaps, exposing her inner thighs and leading the eye upwards towards Jury's other obvious trait, her sexuality. Where her pants are designed around function and gameplay conveyance, Jury's upper half is designed around personality and expression. Street Fighter ladies actually have a pretty good track record of covering up their chests, and the few who don't are either trying to be eye-catching or seductive. Jury takes a bit from column B, but with a new twist. Jury is a notorious masochist, taking pleasure in doling out pain and suffering. She's not above using her body to entice a target before utterly demolishing them, making her a femme fatale of sorts. She likes to toy with her prey offering a glimpse of elation before tearing it away from them in a sort of Dark Knight Bane kind of way. In fact, this is precisely why Jury is often depicted with spiders as her animal motif, a predator whose natural tendency is to entice, ensnare, and feed. Her top is even designed to look like a spider. This juxtaposition of flirtatious temptress and psycho murderer is what makes Jury's personality so compelling and dynamic. Her weird hairstyle does more than just create a visually unique head silhouette. She keeps it simple up in front, with a straight fringe cut and long sides to expose her face in all of its twisted, expressive glory. While the top shape is obviously reminiscent of Devil Horns, in case you somehow missed that Jury is evil, they also top off Jury's whole design as an homage to another character, Jolene Cujo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, continuing Street Fighter's long-running tradition of taking inspiration from JoJo characters. There's nothing else more I can really say other than how much I love this design and how dynamic and visually engaging it is to look at and see in motion. Having said all that, let's take a look at her Street Fighter V costume. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really feeling this look. It's not that it's missing any of the key components that expresses who Jury is, I mean, it's still got the whole seductive but deadly thing going on, and her hair's still the same, and it's even still got the spider motif. But there's nothing about the silhouette or shape balance that really emphasizes anything, so we lose the immediate focus on the legs as Jury's primary weapon. In fact, slimming down her legs actually draws attention to Jury's disproportionately large feet. And I'm not saying that her feet should be smaller, because then it would lose the kicking emphasis, and according to an interview with co-producer Tomoaki Ayano, hands and feet in Street Fighter have always been stylistically larger so that a character's strikes are easier to see. The solution to this proportion problem, believe it or not, was the baggy pants. Even if Jury's feet were still larger in proportion to the rest of her body, the baggy pants put more shape around the legs so that her feet at least look smaller than her pants. But I think the real reason I'm disappointed with this costume is because it doesn't look unique. There are tons of dangerous femme fatale characters who have this look, 
but this costume from Street Fighter 4 could only be worn by Jury. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad costume or a bad design, and there's a scant few things about her new appearance that I do like. I think the eye patch is a great addition to her design because there was really nothing before that emphasized that she has weird powers in her left eye. I also love her new idol stance. It's still got the leg ready to kick you pose, but now she's so laid back as though she thinks so little of her opponent that she won't even bother to raise her arms in defense. Still, I think this costume sacrifices a lot of the smart design choices of her original look and doesn't really gain much in return. When I first saw this costume, I thought it would make a great story mode alt, but not a primary costume. I think it's neat and it looks good on her, but it's not jury. It's just jury dressed as Widowmaker. And that wraps up the first installment of Design Shop. Character design is one of my favorite things to talk about, so if you're interested in hearing more, then feel free to like this video and subscribe for future episodes. I'm ABI, and I need to start saving some fight money.